military matters tonight. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in the hot seat on Capitol Hill today, answering questions about the deadly attack on Americans in Benghazi. As News 5's Allison Spann reports, one of the most awkward moments came during questioning by an Alabama congresswoman. For hours, they sat and fired questions. Why were there so many requests for more security personnel and equipment, and why were those requests denied in Washington? Now, you say you were briefed by the CIA every morning that you were in Washington, is that correct? And after nearly nine hours of listening to testimony, few details were revealed about the 2012 attacks in Benghazi. We know the attack in Libya had nothing to do with the film. The sharpest questions came from Republican Jim Jordan, who questioned Secretary Clinton on her narrative of Benghazi and charged her with misleading the American people because of an election. A key campaign theme that year was GM's alive, bin Laden's dead, Al-Qaeda's on the run. And now you have a terrorist attack. And it's a terrorist attack in Libya. And it's just 56 days before an election. You can live with a protest about a video. That won't hurt you. But a terrorist attack will. I wrote a whole chapter about this in my book, Hard Choices. I'd be glad to send it to you, Congressman. The most surprising exchange happened between Alabama Representative Martha Roby and Secretary Clinton. I was alone, yes. The whole night? Well, yes, the whole night. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I mean, did you have any in-person briefings? It's, I don't find it funny at all. Critics allege Democrats and even some Republicans that the Benghazi hearing is nothing more than a partisan effort to discount Clinton's presidential run. In fact, a CNN ORC poll shows that 72% of those surveyed believe that the panel is using the Benghazi investigation to gain a political advantage. Live in the studio, Allison Spann, News 5.